the marshals moving off, the great big uh, splodges of colour still there on the, uh, the floor of the arena after the children's display earlier. The flags of all 71 nations participating in these games now being brought in, in readiness for that uh, handover ceremony. We're not quite there yet. The uh, audience here in the uh, in the Nehru Stadium will be treated to a few of the images, some of the great moments of these uh, past 11 days, just to remind them of what's what's gone over the past 11 days. Something to to dwell on, something to celebrate, something to talk about in the months and years to come. After that, a little bit more entertainment uh, in the form of of a song from one of India's biggest stars, and then we'll have the handover itself. Yes, uh, Sean, who's actually from my home state, West Bengal. A uh, very, very popular Indian playback singer and also a television host. You know, really, reality TV has taken off in a big way in India, and especially reality TV uh, song shows. Dreams fulfilled. Ladies and gentlemen, here are some of the most unforgettable moments of the Commonwealth Games Delhi 2010. to our dear friend and mascot, Shera, who has become an integral part of all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very popular and talented singer, Shan, with our favorite mascot, Shera. I tried to get a stuffed toy of Shera for my four-year-old. There are none left. Have you managed to get a T-shirt anywhere? Nope. I managed to get a mug. No merchandising. I thought India was all about you know, selling and it just didn't happen. We were wandering around yesterday and today. Couldn't find one.
सपने की आशा की नहीं हमें नगमे दी तूने अमन और प्यार की भाषा में दो लफ्ज हमें अपने से दिए खाते हैं कसम अब दिल से हम दो देंगे सभी दुनिया के खुशियां Welcome, Mr. Suresh Kalmadi, Member of Parliament and Chairman, Organising Committee, Commonwealth Games, Delhi 2010, to address the audience. Suresh Kalmadi, who has been uh, roundly criticised in some quarters for the organisation of the Games, and uh, was booed indeed by some parts of the crowd when he spoke at the opening ceremony so the reception today will be interesting to say the least Mr. Hamid Ansari Honorable Vice President of India Dr. Manmohan Singh Honorable Prime Minister and Mrs. Singh, Your Royal Highness, Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and Vice Patron, Commonwealth Games Federation, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, Chairperson, National Advisory Council, <coughs> Mr. Mike Fennell, President, Commonwealth Games Federation, all members of the Games family and Mrs. Fennell, Sri Mahinda Rajapaksha, Honorable President of Sri Lanka, all the members of the Indian Olympic Association, Senior Management of the Organizing Committee, all stakeholders, athletes and officials from participating teams, members of the media from India and abroad, my dear volunteers and workforce of the Organizing Committee. And finally, the proud people of Delhi. Namaskar. The sporting extravaganza is ending, but I'm sure the aftertaste will linger for a long time. Delhi 2010, which captured the imagination of India and the world for almost two weeks, is drawing to a close. But this is not the end. In fact, it is just the beginning. For the athletes, it's been a life-changing experience. For India, it has been a new beginning in sports.
for the world. It has been evidence of what India can do at the sporting stage. This is a new era for Indian sports and I at least and sports loving people who embrace the games as their own.